Okay, we're off on our car and we're getting ready to explore Dunedin. What are we gonna do today, Jeff? We're gonna check out a couple restaurants, show you around, and see what Dunedin has to offer. Is that right, honey? Yes, because not only is it important where you live to have a little fun, but the food, because if the food ain't right, you can't be living there. Here we are. This is our little town in Dunedin. It is adorable. So let me take you on a tour. Okie dokie, Jeff. You ready to go inside? Dunedin coffee and bakery. Enter. This has the coffee. I have to say, I kind of like this coffee here. It's got a little shot of raspberry syrup, and it is super yummy. Give us a taste. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm going to shut it. Delicious. Tell me. Mmm. Nice and hot. Are you eating it or am I? Oh, you are right now. <laughs> All right, Jeff, take a bite. Mm. What do you think, Jeff? They're pretty good, huh? Delicious. Mm -hmm. What do you like about Dunedin, Jeff? Well, it's got that nice small town feel. If you're like from northern area where you like the suburbs, this gives you a little bit of the suburb feel. And plus, you're able to get into the city of Tampa and have the city life as, as well. You've got all your major sports teams here. you got the Bolts. Uh, lightning uh, for hockey. You got, um, you got uh, a brain fart. Brain fart. <laughs> yep. Oh, yes. Buccaneers. Yeah. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> Tom Brady's here now. So uh, we're going to the Super Bowl, and we are. Yeah, that's what they said on the news. This is why they're going to the Super Bowl this year because of Tom Brady. Do you think Tom Brady's influence in Tampa has given this area a highlighted area to move to? Do you think everybody's moving down here for that reason? I don't think it's necessarily because of Tom Brady, but that is a perk. However, you have a lot of building going on over there where Bill Gates and um, put in like $3 billion to increase um, uh, revenue and and uh, build a medical center over in Tampa. Um, also, I think the COVID has played a big part in everybody moving down to Florida for sole purpose of not wanting to stay in their house in the wintertime and be stuck inside with their kids, not being able to go outside, play or anything. And uh, social distancing has really played a big part in moving to a place where it's uh, nice and warm and you're able to go to the beach and still get outside and you got the trail over here to ride your bikes it goes from st petersburg all the way up to tarpon lake so there's lots of things to do buy a boat go fishing where you can't do that up north you can't go fishing up north you can if you want to be cold now liz movie star liz that is me you got something hanging from your ear Safety you're, first. You're on TV. Safety first. What do you like about Dunedin? I like the fact that we're in a small little town and it's just a hop and skip away from the beach because I think we live only half a mile from the Intercoastal, right? Is that correct, Jeff? That is correct. Honeymoon Island. Honeymoon Island. They call it Honeymoon because we're always on a honeymoon. And the people here are very nice very sweet environment. I mean, you can go into any little shop and people greet you like you've been here forever. So that I do like a lot. The other thing that I really like about living here is that people are very considerate to one another. So when you're walking around with your mask and stuff like that, they do put it on. They are aware of this COVID thing going on and they're still very friendly. So that's a perk. To the taco place, Lizzie. Yeah? Yeah, it's like a street taco. Ah, uh, and Jeff is a Yum. taco fan. Okay, so this is one of our favorite places, right? 
Jeff, you ready for your taco? I am. Taco Please. Baby, you gotta come visit it in Dunedin. It's right on Main Street. If this I can get this in my mouth. They also, whoops, they also have $2 uh, Taco Tuesday. Mm. Can I see mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Let me see a little bite. Oh, look at that beauty. Liz, let me see your taco. <laughs> <laughs> taco Tuesday, two dollar tacos. That's the Al Pastor taco with pork. Is that correct? Huh? It's very yummy. Can you see? Raise that up so I can see. You can come in a little closer. Let me closer. see that. Let me show you this. Wow. Dig in. Don't get it in your mask. Yummy, huh? It was very good. Good. Would you come back? Yeah, we usually stop by here, Jeff. Remember? Like when we're in the area before COVID and we get a little bite. And on the weekends, I think it's the second Tuesday of every month, everybody comes out here and there's like a little street party. And Mr. Taco Tuesday is out here having little tacos for everybody. And you'll see a band. They also have different breweries and everybody hangs out the second Tuesday of every month. But due to COVID, no gatherings. So that's been nicked. Bring a slice of pizza. Mamma mia. Hey. All right, what do we get today? Wow, they have a slice of Hawaiian. You like pepperoni? We got the sliced white. We got the sliced veggie. You guys, this is my favorite one. I'm just plain Jane. Pizza. Hold on. That's why you can never trust the black corn. Mmm. Got beautiful homes in this area. Uh, some of them are actually bed and breakfasts that you can rent for the season and come down for a little vacation from the winter cold and, and COVID. And COVID, let's not forget about what's caused this whole scenario. But you make the best of it, right guys? That's right. Look at this gorgeous house. I think this is one of the bed and breakfast, isn't it? Yes, it is. And then the best part about coming down here is off to the boats you go. Like the little islands across. It's quite peaceful. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the tour today that we gave you. Uh, you're looking to buy a house. Give me a call 727-337-6230. Or you can check out my website at real estate dunedinfl.com thanks hope you had a wonderful time and see ya